Hey, it's Friday, so let's have a bit of fun with lasers. Here we've got a lovely green laser. It's coming in here, and it's reflecting. I'm getting refraction, and there's a refracted ray coming out. You can change the angle. See it turn back on itself, go straight through. I increase the angles as I can to rotate. You can clearly see what happens, and there we go, right off the corner, lovely refraction, some reflection, and it's refracted again at the end. Let's try that with a different colour. My favourite's purple. There we go. Not quite as intense as the green. Again, clearly, we can see the light come in, be reflected. From the, on the normal that you wouldn't be able to see obviously refracted ray and then refracted again can turn it around let's try that with red there we go now red's not so visible but there we go we can see it appearing out the back of the block let's try another prism let's try an equilateral triangle so the equilateral triangle Go around. It's a bit harder to see there. The rays coming in here, being refracted and totally internally reflected as well. Let's go around. There we go. Right off the corner. Let's try a different colour, the green one. There we go. Wow. So, there we go. It's coming in. It's being reflected and refracted. Let's try for a different type of triangle. So we'll go back to the purple light. Now then, here we go. Right angle triangle. Clearly see reflection again. So the laser comes in, comes off, and is refracted. Let's spin it round. See what we get. Comes back in on itself similar effects. We'll try that with green. Go from the top this time. There we go. Green's very intense and you can see the reflections going right through there. You can see the straight line and then it comes off, doesn't it? That's quite a good one. Now then, let's try something really a bit unusual. So we'll take a beaker of water. So there's my beaker of water. If I do that you can clearly see, let's get it in the middle, and my laser beam is going right through. Okay. Now if we go and take both of the beams, <clears throat> now as they say on Ghostbusters, never cross the beam, but in this case, not a problem. Now then, if I do that one, you can see on the green one, I'm reflecting it here. You can see the reflected ray. Let's try with the purple one. It's not as bright, so it's a lot harder to see. Let's go for the top. Both at the same time, bring the dots together, a sort of white effect. Why don't we just try a little bit of milk in there and see what happens. So we've got a green laser light on a line. We'll pour in a little bit of milk. Now we see all these clouds forming. There we go. Give it a stir. We've ended up with a milky colour. We can mix the colours and almost get a white effect. So there we are. That's my introduction to laser light showing that it obeys the properties of reflection and refraction and can be used to study all sorts of things like the particles of milk as they mix into this water.